In this video, I'm going to show you a very cool AI agent using NADN that one of my community members, Bob, created. It's called Lizzie, the Spotify agent. Lizzie is going to be very interactive and snarky based on what Bob mentioned because of the fact that he used a uncensored large language model via Olama. So what it's going to do is it's going to check to see if you're currently playing a song. If not, then Lizzie is going to engage the user in a normal chat via Telegram with the context of the last played song in your queue. But if there is a song playing, Lizzie will recommend what's playing and then it will say, hey, the, here are five recommendations, four of which are going to be in the same genre and one is going to be outside the genre. Again, Bob mentioned that he likes the fact that Lizzie is very snarky because of the fact that he used this uncensored large language model from Olama, but you can choose to use whatever large language model you please, and you can play around with the system prompt to make sure that it is meeting whatever requirements or whatever you need it to achieve. It's a very cool AI agent. Again, you can grab the workflow from the classroom section of the school community here. So the community automations and workflows, this is a section where all the community members create really great workflows and share with the rest of the community members so that way they can comment, build on top of it, or provide improvements on the existing projects that they're working on. And also when you come to these each uh, agent or automation that the school community members have built, you will also have linked to the comment thread here. So when you click on that, this will take you to the, all the discussions that that community member and the rest of the community members had about that particular project. And then obviously you can just grab the JSON workflow and import it to your NADN instance where you can immediately pull this and build on top of it or provide some improvements. And like I said, you can always interact with the person who has built this on the community section so that way you can go back and forth and provide some more improvements or some more suggestions to make this even better. I'm gonna put the link in the description of the school community in a video. Hopefully I'll see you there. But let me go ahead and play the video where Bob walks through and showcases exactly how Lizzie works and goes through the different notes to show you exactly how to build this thing. Enjoy. Okay, hey everyone. Uh, Bob Prendergast here. I am going to share with you um, my latest uh, creation on on uh, N8N. Uh, this is uh, called Lizzie's Picks, or Lizzie, Lizzie the Spotify Agent. Um, bas basically, what she is designed to do is to um, go into Spotify, um, well, using Telegram, go into to your Spotify, take a look at what is playing, and basically critique it. Um, she, she's loosely based on uh, a, a character from the movie High Fidelity and also my wife. So uh, she has a, a bit of an interesting personality and um, very strong music opinions. So uh, we start out um, pretty simple. It's a, it's a Telegram trigger. Um, if you're not familiar with how to create a Telegram bot, um, there's really great documentation on uh, on the NIN page. I don't want to get too deep into that. Uh, what I do want to point out is that I have everything running locally, um, at least as much as possible, right? Obviously, Spotify API doesn't, and neither does Telegram. But I am using Olama for my for my large language models. I am using uncensored models, and you'll see why uh, as we go forward. And basically, I just want to walk you through this um, this workflow. So we start with the Telegram trigger. So it's listening for a, a chat message coming in from Telegram. And then we're using your uh, Spotify API. Uh, if you don't have a Spotify API, uh, go to their developer site. And it's very easy to get, get credentials. And then you'll be able to do all sorts of things inside of Spotify uh, with NAN. So if we double click onto here, you can see what we're doing is it's using the Spotify player resource and it's looking for currently playing. And I have an if statement here. And the if statement is if is playing is true, then go to true and if it's not playing, go to false. And so you can see we, we have two different paths that we can take here, but they both end up here at the Telegram message out. <clears throat> so we'll start on the false side. Um, 
And what the false side is for is, so if you don't have music currently playing on your Spotify, uh, you can see here, I don't have music playing. Um, I, ha I have the song uh, Alive by Pearl Jam queued up, uh, and we're not currently playing. So <clears throat> if we go into here, we take a look, and you can see this is a tools agent, and our prompt here is you are Liz, a music expert. You look at the currently playing song and make recommendations for what to play next. Your demeanor is a bit cunning and sarcastic, much like Jack Black in the movie High Fidelity. If a song is something you deem cheesy or dumb, you let me know bluntly and make recommendations of your own choosing. Here are her music preferences. Feel free to change this uh, any way you want. Actually, change the system prompt any way you want. Um, and then base your music recommendations off of this, meaning uh, what your favorite bands are, where you're going to take music that's similar and recommend it. Uh, take a look at the prompt and start this, a discussion about the currently playing track. Be engaging and humorous. So what we'll do is we're going to open up Telegram. And we're going to test this workflow. I lose, I think, a live by Pearl Jam is a great song and defines the 90s. I think you meant to say that you like Alive by Pearl Jam. <clears throat> that song is an iconic track for Pearl Jam. The debut album is 10. As you to see why it's a fan favorite. And then she goes on and makes some recommendations and just really starts a discussion about the music. And what's great is when you, you're in the not playing, um, she will use that persona. We're using a uh, Postgres uh, chat history. Um, so you can actually have a conversation about about the music and I think that's kind of fun. Um, she'll use Wikipedia occasionally to uh, pull more information if it doesn't exist in the LLM and I will show you the model I'm using for the false side is uh, RD Fish Llama 3.2 Uncensored. It's a very small model it's 2 billion parameter um, or sorry 3 billion parameters like 2 gigabytes um, I'm running this on an NVIDIA uh, T4, and it, it works very, very well. And <clears throat> and you can see that uh, she's able to give very verbose output, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the true logic. And this is where it gets, um, at least in my opinion, pretty fun. So Liz has a very similar... Um, very similar system prompt, right? Uh, the difference is at the very end, make a bullet list of five songs, four in the current genre and one in a different genre. So the whole point is to kind of create a, um, a bit of a recommendation engine of sorts. Um, and honestly, I've actually found this to work <laughs> a little bit better than uh, Spotify's own um, recommendation agent, but that, that's really another story. Um, so anyway, what happens? <clears throat> uh, the message will come in to Liz's music brain. Uh, we'll go into the Olama chat model. I'm using Hermes 3 for this piece. Um, the main reason I use Hermes 3, it, it's uncensored. Um, it's a little bit larger. Um, I, th I think it's about 8 gigabytes worth of video memory it needs. And What's what's great about uh, Hermes 3 is when it creates the list of songs, the song titles are in quotation marks. That's actually very important for the next step that we're going to do, which is this code block. Uh, I didn't write this code. I have to full disclosure. I uh, used Google Gemini because uh, this uses regex and regular expressions. If you're not a programmer, they're a nightmare. Uh, so basically what the regex does is it looks for text that's in quotation marks and then it creates a list 
uh, output, and that output goes to these five uh, pieces. Now, obviously, you can change this. You can have as many as you want, um, depending on how many recommendations you tell her to make. But if we go in here, you can see JSON extracted item zero. So that's the first the first song title that we're going to do. And what it's doing is it's doing a Spotify search on that. And you can see I have a limit of one. Um, the reason for the limit of one is if you have multiple songs with the same title, uh, you could end up with, uh, you know, for instance, uh, the song Drive. I know of five songs called Drive off the top of my head. And it, you could end up getting five songs called Drive uh, added to your playlist and then nothing else would get added to the list. So that's why that's why we do it this way. Um, unfortunately, uh, in the case of a song like Drive, you might not get the one you want, and unfortunately, that's that's a little bit of a limitation with the logic that's built into here. So then we go into this here. This is the playlist add item section, and what's very very important is playlist ID must be a fi fixed expression. So in the Spotify API, you have to find the playlist that you're going to create and find its exact ID and put that in here. And once that is in here and saved, then when we kick off the workflow, you'll, you'll see that it will add um, the songs that we, that we choose. So let's give that a try. We're going to hit test workflow. Now, what's really important is I have to have music playing in order for that side of the workflow to go. So I'm going to hit play. Uh, I'm going to mute this just in case the audio comes through. So we hit play. And you can see right now there are three songs that Lizzie picked uh, before. Alive, After the Storm, and Stupid Girl. So um, these were things that she added herself. I didn't add these to the, uh, to the playlist. So if we hit Telegram. And say, uh, I like this song, but let's find something new. Hit OK. Now, the workflow is, you can see, running on this side. It's loading up Hermes 3, processing everything. You can see it went through. I just got a message. And we saw it go down this row, one, two, three, four, five, and then it sent something there. So first things first, let's see what the Telegram message says. Uh, oh, Alive by Pearl Jam is certainly a solid choice. It's got the quintessential 90s grunge sound to it, those heavy riffs, emotive vocals, yum. So she suggested Radio by Limp Bizkit, Chop Suey, Bodies, Last Resort, and Blurry. And... She gave some recommendation, some ex explanation behind why she chose what she did. Now let's go over to Spotify. And it's not showing up, but I had this problem before and I just had to relaunch Spotify. And there we go. There's the songs that she added. I actually think this is just a problem with the Linux version of, of Spotify. Um, I was using this on another system earlier, and everything uh, was working. So you can see uh, she just created new songs to this playlist and added them directly. Um, because of some flaws in the, uh, the regex, sometimes, um, sometimes a song will get duplicated. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it does a, it does a really good job. Um, and we'll go ahead and activate the workflow. And that is how Lizzie's music brain works. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, definitely leave a comment. Um, let me, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, um, I'd love to see what it, anyone else can do with this. I, I think it's a, a fun start and I think there's a lot more that can be done with this. So enjoy everyone and yeah, have fun.